Math 31, I had a question on number 73. And so this was um, where we were given the volume and radius of a cylinder and asked to find its height. And just for a little refresher, volume is equal to pi r squared h when you're talking about a cylinder. Now, if I want to solve for the height, what I could do is I could divide both sides by pi r squared, and that would isolate my height. So I'd get this expression. Oh, there is that triangle. It popped up in another video, and I don't know how I'm getting these triangles. All right, so I could say that my height was equal to the volume in relationship to pi r squared. And they gave me an expression for my volume, so I'm gonna substitute that in here. And they gave me an expression for my radius, so I'm gonna substitute that in there, and then I'm gonna solve for my height. So that's what you see me doing here. I took this expression for volume, wrote it in the volume slot. I took this expression for radius, wrote it in the radius slot. And then I isolated the height. Right now, once you start isolating heights, certain things happen. You see the pi's are gonna cancel, right? And that's why I'm getting that my height boils down to that ratio, right, that fraction. And once you get to a fraction, you have a couple of options, right? I can do long division, or I can do synthetic division. And for this case, I'm gonna opt to use synthetic division, and the reason I do that is because my lead coefficient here is one. Whenever my lead coefficient there is one, I think synthetic is easier than long. So as I scroll down here, you see me going forward with the first round of synthetic division, right? Since I have a divisor of x plus four, my k value is negative four, and the coefficients were three, 24, 46, negative 16, and negative 32. So I run through synthetic division, right? Drop it down, multiply, all of that fun stuff. There's my remainder. And it should be zero. We want it to be a nice even number when we're talking about this volume here. But this also helps me with my remaining factor. I know that when I did that division, since I started with a quartic, I'm going to end with a cubic. So we have, or I should say begin with a cubic, 3x cubed, 12x squared, minus 2x and minus 8. But the thing is, we got to remember that we were dividing, and let me change the pen up here, we were dividing by x plus 4 squared. So I still need to divide by x plus 4 one more time. So let's go through that and run it again. Now I'm going to divide by x plus 4 and I'm going to work off of the simplified version because I've already done some division. My k is still negative 4, and I'm going to use those coefficients that I had from my, my last iteration of synthetic division. When I go through that, again, I get a remainder of 0, which I should. And now keep in mind here, let me go back to the highlighter. I started with the cubic, so this, this polynomial, this 3, is going to be attached to a squared term. So that's where I'm getting 3x squared, right? There's 0x's and then minus 2, so that that quotient has to be the height of my cylinder. All right. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.